One of the things that really renews me at the core of my being is to get out into nature. I was taking a walk one day and I noticed the greening grass and the budding flowers and the leaves on the trees and my thoughts ran a bit deeper. I began to identify with the unity and the oneness of all nature. No part of it stands alone. The next time you look at a tree or a blade of grass or a flower, I want you to think about that, that it does not stand alone. It has many parts. In every leaf, in every blade of grass, there is a part of the sun, there is a part of the air, a part of every river that flows towards the sea. How could we ever feel alone? So many of us feel like an isolated island, and yet we're not. I couldn't stand here if God were not with me and within me, and you couldn't watch this if God were not with you and within you. God is the creator and the giver of life itself. You can never be alone. None of us want to live our lives in a private room, closing out the rest of the world. And if we ever had that tendency, we should try to avoid it at all cost. It is the open-hearted, open-minded person that sees life as a real adventure. The person who is open to new experiences and sees them as part of a growing process and knows that they're not alone in this growing process. They don't face life with fear, but rather with anticipation and even excitement. When we're open to life, we see the potentiality for good, and we watch it unfold with our eyes. Nothing is gained by traveling through life in a covered wagon. Realize your oneness with all. Realize your oneness with God, and allow that to empower you as you go forward this week.